Campaigning against narcotics was a big thing in cartoons in the 1980s, and unfortunately He-Man and the Masters of the Universe was no exception. I always feel uncomfortable talking about anti-drug episodes in cartoons, mainly because while they were made with the best of intentions, I think a far more disturbing aspect is that they were aimed largely at kids, whereas the more crucial audience for this kind of a thing would probably be teenagers. Not all anti-drug episodes have been bad though, Captain Planet is one major exception. They didn't fuck around or pussyfoot in that one, they actually killed someone to get the point through. He-Man didn't go quite that far, but let's discuss the plot of the episode I'm reviewing today before getting into it. The episode is A Friend in Need. Duncan's friend, an inventor named Zikran and his daughter Elena, are visiting the palace to test out Zikran's transmutator. At the same time, the evil wizard Jarvan escapes from Eternia's prison mines and plots his revenge against He-Man and King Randor for locking him up. Zikran's daughter Elena is very shy and unconfident, and Jarvan decides to manipulate her to get Zikran's transmutator, which can alter the properties of any object. Jarvan disguises himself as an old woman and gives Elena a potion, which makes her happy and brave. He also gives her a ring she can use to summon him, and which he can use to spy on the heroes. The potion only works for a short time and soon Elena needs more, which Jarvan uses to get her hooked. Eventually, he refuses to give Elena any more potion until she gets him the transmutator. The heroes find out about Elena's addiction and Jarvan's plan. Jarvan tries to shrink the palace and kill the heroes, but He-Man is able to battle the machine's power and overload it. Jarvan escapes, but the heroes use the ring he gave to Elena to trap him. Let's start off with the characters. There's not much to say, except that the whole credibility of the episode pretty much rests on their shoulders. Elena is the obvious topic. Firstly, I do think her design is a little questionable, though I shouldn't complain too much since it is a scandally clad woman in a He-Man episode rather than a man this time. Whether or not you enjoy this episode really depends on your opinion of Alina. If you identify with her shyness, awkwardness and her lack of confidence, then you should find her a very sympathetic figure. If you find her annoying, the episode might not work. She does eventually do something brave and helps take down Jarvan towards the end, but I wouldn't necessarily call it an, an empowering moment. Jarvan is also a bit of an oddball. He looks like Ming the Merciless, but with a massive gut. He definitely fulfills the role of a dealer in this episode, but still, perhaps comes off more as a supervillain. I think it's kind of odd that he disguises himself as the same old woman that Evil Lin does in most episodes. However, a lot of elements in this episode were recycled in later episodes, so I suppose you can see it as a natural part of the making of a He-Man episode. The characters in this episode aren't anything special, but they're not over the top or unbelievable either, and I suppose that was the whole point, especially with such a serious storyline. They could have tried making Charvan a more imposing villain, but again, he still delivers his role in the episode quite satisfactorily. If we look at the animation for this episode, it's another mixed bag deal. Even though this episode is one of the very early ones produced for the show, it reuses considerable amounts of stock footage from past episodes. At times the reusage is done well, and at other times it can be a bit awkward. Elena is really well animated, but there's not a lot of new animation, and for instance, Zikran's air car is just a gray shape most of the time to help keep the animation budget down. There's a lot of funny incidental animation bits, like He-Man transforming in mid-fall, but also some awkward ones. For instance, I really don't think that the scene where Jarvan tries to shrink the palace works. The shrinking effect doesn't quite come through. I could believe He-Man trying to hold up the whole castle in the episode Evil Seed, but here the way the scene is framed is really awkward. The episode certainly has a lot of action, which prevents it from becoming dull. I, I just wish they could have taken the animating a bit more seriously. Finally, the moral segment of this episode is one of the most serious in the whole series. Usually, I don't bother with them, but this one I can't turn away from, because it shows just how serious Filmation was about their cartoon teaching kids important stuff. They didn't do these on a whim either, or to unnecessarily hammer the point of the episode through. The moral segments were actually designed by a child psychologist, who felt it was important that kids watching the show felt that the characters were really talking to them directly. Drugs don't make your problems go away. They just create more. So what do I think about the He-Man anti-drug episode? In my view, it accomplishes what it set out to do by being appropriately serious. 
As a He-Man episode, it's only okay in my view. Not an outstanding episode by any means, but still pretty good average stock from the story and production point of view. I recommend giving it a watch. Until next time, I have the power, so can you.